Hi, I'm Laura Marcus and I'm president of Nimble Fingers Quilters in Rockville and I welcome you to Kappa Quilts where we are going to be having our gallery display of our Happy Challenge. After dealing with 2020, we decided that we needed something to cheer us all up and bring us happiness. So at our January meeting, we created this challenge to say what makes us happy. Our first quilt is made by one of our members, Ruth Cohen. And Ruth said that this is one of the many quilts that she made during the pandemic. And this was her happiest quilt. The pattern is from Jordan Fabrics Online and the title is Mardi Gras because it contains purples and greens and turquoise, most of her favorite colors. In order to make each block, she had to cut off the corners, which she saved, and use the half square triangles to make pinwheels. They're two inches finished and there were so many left over that she ended up making another small quilt. Next up is a quilt by Mary Lou Dugan. Several years ago, she had gotten a jelly roll of bright, beautiful batiks. She wasn't sure if she purchased it or if it was a gift from a secret sister. sister. It made her happy to finally use something full of color and fun, and that her sister was kind enough to long arm it instead of having her have to do it herself. It makes her very happy to pass this along to the Guild's Quilting for Others group. Next up, we actually have a challenge from one of our mini groups called the Razzle Dazzle. Kathy says, when the idea of making a happy quilt was announced, I immediately thought of Razzle Dazzle's group and how as a new member of Nimble Fingers, they quickly welcomed me to join them. So I asked if they would make a simple five inch block and put their name in the middle strip. To those seven blocks, my own has some of my vintage mother of pearl buttons I added seven friendship stars in the bright colors that make me happy. My favorite plaid border. If I was tall, I'd wear nothing but plaids and a variegated binding. I used some of my favorite decorative stitches to quilt the piece and just for fun on the binding. As friends are the key to having a happy life, I'm sewing one of my vintage keys on here somewhere too. Next up in the Razzle Dazzle mini group, we have Nancy Sharp's quilt and we all know that Nancy Sharp uses mostly K-Fast fabrics. Next, we have Christine Peterson. And what made her happy was that in her squares that she gave away, she decided to reflect their interests beyond quilting. So she used fabrics from her stash and some led to a cheetah and a leopard went to a cat lover, suitcases to a traveler, garden themes went to a walker, crabs and seagulls went to a beach lover, doggy things went to a dog owner, and books to a lover of reading. These ladies have kept me going during the past year. We met as weather allowed all year long, bundled up in coats and parking lots and sitting in the sun with show and tell at every meeting and tips and hints along the year. Next up, we have Shirley Malia. This is a series. There's a series of five quilts. She really enjoyed this guilt challenge. She spent weeks thinking about the topic water. She was happy just thinking about all the aspects of water and decided she wanted to make a series of five small quilts. Today, we have three of those quilts displayed. The first one is fun in the water. Water offers numerous recreational opportunities and a person can get wet or stay dry and still participate in some form of a water sport. A sampling of these activities is included on the top. An organza image of her oldest granddaughter in the pool of water is included in the upper right of each quilt center. The second quilt we have is called Water Cycle. The quilt shows the type of water locations as moisture drops from the clouds, flows through intermediate bodies to the ocean, and returns to the clouds. She used ultra suede for the number 71, and a portion of Niagara Falls is shown in the picture in the lower right. The label includes a marvelous quote from Jacques Cousteau, we forget that the water cycle and the cycle of life are one. The next one, she has water usage. We use water in many, many ways as indicated in the embroidery and fused words. More importantly, 55% of a woman's body weight is water, 60% for a man. Water supports every living thing. The notation on the bottom left says, $19.1 billion was spent on bottled water in the U.S. in 2019. Her Perrier bottle is also included in the bottom left. 
Next up, we have Patrice Thomas. She calls this Falling Leaves. This is made from green upholstery sample book and chiffon-like fabric that comes in floral bouquets. There's nine different colors of green thread and nothing was newly purchased for it. Hooray, machine quilted in a leaf pattern. Next up is my quilt. Of all the quilts I've made, which I own very few, this is I think my most special. During COVID, I wanted to find something to calm my very unsettled self and wanted to challenge myself doing something new. I always wanted to try hand quilting big stitch style, so this seemed like the perfect match. I love designing the quilt in the circles and had fun matching the thread color with the sashing, border, and blocks. Quilting was very zen-like for me and just what my soul needed. It's very, very soft compared to my other machine quilts. Pattern is called Sunkissed from Sun Baskets, and I used Alice in Glass fabrics, including her Art Theory panel and Eleganza 8 Pearl Cotton to quilt it. I know this will not be my last big stitch quilt. Next up, Linda August. This is her happy quilt because she preserved it and got it done right the second time around. This was her eighth or ninth quilt using these Ditsies prints and was rather frustrated when she went to measure the borders and found that one side was two inches longer than the other. She put it aside for over six months and when the challenge was announced, she decided to figure out how to fix it and make it her happy quilt. Ended up taking out the pencil strips apart, remeasuring and re-sewing and voila, love the results and she's happy with the happy quilt.